Howdy, cowdies. Weekly walkabout time with the collector. Hope you're going good. We've got heaps of cool stuff to sell this week. All these corgis. The man from Uncle, gun firing thrush buster. Green Hornet, Black Beauty, f crime fighting car over the back. The Dinky Super Toys, SO petrol tanker. James Bond corgi. Another James Bond and a loose James Bond one there as well. It's got the passenger there to go out of the ejector seat. Got little Callisto, the rubber bendy Mattel alien. Pretty cool boxed Donkey Kong Jr. Game & Watch with a mirrored sort of panorama screen. All of these things are mint in their boxes, by the way. Beautiful little bits of coal port, all hand painted about 1880, probably a bit earlier. Some gold and diamonds, really nice Art Nouveau brush with the lovely sort of blue coloured little sections. Lovely uh, Double Hunter fob watch made by Thomas Gaunt, Melbourne. This is a really nice sewing box as well with all the stuff inside it. A couple of nice silk gilt sterling silver Masonic medals. Some really nice amber necklaces. You got some little sort of daguerreotypes and ambrotypes. Lovely sort of uh, perfume bottle or something like that. Hobnail cup with a silver top. It's a pretty cool little German multi-tool. A couple of nice little bits of World War I trench art. Some nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. Cool little tile top retro table. These are nice. The oil paintings by um, Isla Wheel. Still Life. Another nice Still Life. They're both signed and dated 1923. It's a really nice little street scene. So we've got th three works by her. What else have we got? Nice little sort of oriental side table with a couple of little woven pictures. A little outdoor classical sort of three-piece setting, cast aluminium. And these nice little outdoor bench. A couple of decorative oil paintings. A still life in the front there. What else have we got? Some books on Marilyn Monroe and a full set of trading cards. Got some pretty cool water skis with the Fred Williams bindings on them. Really like these. The fire dogs with the sort of little classical masks. You can probably see that one a little bit better. But this one's just, the back on it's a little bit short, so it's something's broken off the back there. The other one's all complete. Just really nice things like them. Uh, this is pretty cool. The men's cashmere trench coat. I think made for Harrods, 100% cashmere. It's like a sort of medium or large size. Some gents sort of leather jackets and sort of sports coats and blazers. What else have we got? Cool little lot of retro sort of household. This is pretty cool. Little colander. I think it's made in Holland or Poland. Bit of art glass in there. It's a vertical garden. Pretty cool little sort of radiogram with all the drop down sort of front turntables and stuff in it boxes of stuff heaps of cutlery this is nice the chinese sort of dinner set what else have we got this is all boxed down under here of sort of gramophone parts old black bakelite phones yeah, a nice little sort of queen anne display cabinet group lot of sort of paintings and prints and stuff this thing's pretty cool a strong box Here's a ripper. We don't have a key, but it's unlocked. No treasure in there. I don't think this thing's been at Oak <laughs> Island. <laughs> oh shit, I've got my cord, cord cord in it. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Teak furniture. Little collection of ink drawings and a lovely watercolour by Barbara Kosuf. A couple of teas made. A little goblin one's a ripper. And a bevel as well. Got heaps of display stuff, some plate racks, and this little laundry basket's full of all these Perspex stands. What else have we got? Some interesting sort of moulded plywood dining chairs with the cool sort of geometric seats. Big table, a floor runner, some more paintings and prints and stuff. How's this thing? The boat. Fruit Salad 2, which is otherwise known as the sequel. It's been down at Williamstown at some stage. It's got a, red, a trailer with registration. It's all complete. It's a 125 class racing dinghy. Two people. But everything's there. The mast, all the sails. 
all that sort of jazz. Made by AIS Boat Builders there, little plaque up the front. Phone number 79175 something or other, I can't quite read it. Cool thing. And there's no holes in it. <laughs> and I reckon we've had about 12 people in today that have walked in and gone, shit, you got a boat. <laughs> uh, Fleur, 64. Nine-piece dining suite. Butterfly extension table, eight chairs to go with it. Nice little mid-century dressing table. Got the Snelling style chair back in. Nice pair of Tessa leather armchairs as well. Big collection of lamps and lighting. Cool planet lamp in amongst there and some industrial and anodized ones. Big lot of blue and white Chinese dinnerware. Some Noritake in amongst as well. Railway light. It's got the big sort of round surround there and the little sort of uh, peak to go on it. And then we've got some old books and gear. Nice little teak mirror. Funny little sort of table or cupboard with the sort of Chippendale style feet on it. What else have we got? Boxes of dolls, glassware and board games. A couple of bottles of port. One of them's Wangoon port. A couple of nice little Egyptian prints. A little group lot, sort of blokey gear. Looks like the bloody America's Cup over the back. With some nice steins and tankards and stuff. A couple of nice little oil paintings. Kind of like this little sort of coastal scene one. It's unsigned. This one signed G.S. Gill. Sort of autumn landscape. Cool box of science fiction books. Asimov, Tolkien, some other gear in amongst. A little mix lot of books. Aldous Huxley first edition Brave New World Revisited. With Uncle Tom's Cabin and Robinson Crusoe. Something for everybody. Victorian China. Some sort of Greek antique style stuff. Nice little collection of poetry books, retro gear, ephemera, posters and stuff. We've got some nice paintings this week. When Matty Roberts, nice big Aboriginal oil painting. This is a cool bit, this by Dean Bowen. Car Chaos. Peter Nuttall, really nice ink and wash. Little Trevor Oprah's typical, little lovely little colourful bright sunny landscape. Great little Dacre Smythe. I like him. He was a rear admiral in the Navy. I think he retired and just decided to pick up painting. James Turkington. It's a really nice uh, charcoal. Marcel Jacques. Can't get much more French than that. Little James Swire. little etching of St. Paul's in Melbourne. And these are nice. Maureen Hudson Napanjimpa. Um, Rain and Lightning, and this one's by her as well. This one's called Ceremony, I think. Ceremony Campground. Kind of like them, but I do beg for Collingwood. <laughs> Good things. All right, what else have we got? Little wool winder, scales, which are quite nice with a little iron. Good little electric kettle. It's a nice sort of Victorian riding box, just needs a little bit of work. Put it with a nice little shelving unit. Some old indentures. Crystal, these are pretty cool. The modern signed 3D art. With some glasses. A couple of cool posters. This one's a ripper. It's America's number one Western swing band. Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. Good lot of records. B-52s, Little Feet, Spandau Ballet. Some other stuff. Sting. Oh, I said good, didn't I? And I just said sting in the same sentence. Package, kids, toys, Rick and Morty. And that guy. He's pretty cool. The Bosch Super Spark Plug Clock. Big Limoges French porcelain dinner set. Little novelty money bank. These are good. The porcelain sort of carpet bowls. Another good lot of records. REM, The Doors, Stevie Ray Vaughan and The Sports. What's in here? Jolliffe's Outback Comics. Batman and other sort of DC comic sort of toys in their boxes. These are cool. All the little cufflinks, Farlap, Doremus, Maccabi Diva. Little soft toy koalas. These are cool. The Western Neckerchief there. And this is a great little bit. Again, a little neckerchief or cravat or something with the Calgary stampede on both ends. Reproduction of German Picklehorb. 
Nice panel, three really nice walking sticks. Sort of bit of horror stuff, the mask and a couple of books, a couple of nice Japanese vases, comic annuals, stencils and letter punches, scales, some cool photographs in this little group here. Nice pretty china and crystal, some birds, another nice big lot of crystal. You got the Wade cookie jar and the Denby mixing bowl, oriental gear, more group lots. Great little Kingsley portable record player. Some modern sort of box sets of 45 RPM singles. Sort of horror stuff, some signed bits from Hellraiser. Holden ephemera. Victorian and other ephemera. The old Loy's soft drink order card's pretty cool. Anthrax, signed little print there in a CD. Some nice 70s enameled wear. What else have we got? A couple of nice photography books. This is pretty cool. A Dagmar Locke McLaughlin ink drawing, which was an advert or uh, was used in The Age, I think, back in 1969. Some Vampirella, modern comics, sort of other cards and stuff. Indian tray. All pretty cool newspapers with headlines of Yuri Gagarin getting into space and stuff like that. More good comics. I think there's a Vampirella original number 10 in amongst that lot. Beatles Rubber Soul LP, which is the mono pressing. You got a bootleg Led Zepp LP. Pretty cool book, still sealed. La Chapelle Land, photographed by David La Chapelle. This is an interesting bit. The sort of carved coconut sort of necklace. Chinese ceramics. Stray Cats records. Nice little lot with little oil bottles there. And the... Um, sort of ruby gilt glasses. Another Beatles album, Help, once again, mono-pressing. With a lot of silver, with a lot of modern English. Another group, a lot of EP and S. A couple of nice Australian art books. Society of Artists book there from 1944 and a big book on Jan Sandbergs. Hand-painted Noritake bowl with the underplate. Another lovely Victorian sort of inlaid Tunbridge Ware little sewing box. It's got the tray. It's a lovely photograph album. It's all full. Some really nice colour, sort of chromolithograph double pages. This is a great lot, this collection of guitar picks. Ace Freely, Kiss Tour, looks like 97 or something. Ace Freely. you got Scott up the top here, which might be Scott Ian from Anthrax or something. The ZZ Top. These are all from gigs and shows. Heaps of cool stuff here. Edema. Trying to find some other ones, but there's heaps of cool. You've got to sit down. Everclear 2001. Ozfest. POD. Really cool lot. Another Led Zepp bootleg. Nice big Noritake dinner set. 1875 Masonic Sash. Reproductions of the number one action comic. Chinese Bowl. Retro Wachter's Back. German. West German. Good lot of English. And a little bit of Irish. More Indian tree. This is a nice little collection of photographs, morning cards. Nice uh, carnival glass comport. It's a car, uh, Wedgwood. This is a nice group lot of ha hammered arts and crafts pewter. Got a lovely clock up the top with a little presentation plaque. Three really nice bits of crown ducal. I really like this deco clock. Book on Bill Henson's photography, which is signed and dedicated in the front. Lovely little bit of Victorian Prattware featuring a boar hunter. There he is. Signed bit of Australian glass. I think it's just marked SMG. And this is a lovely bit. A Chinese porcelain vase. I think it has the Zhang Ji Imperial mark underneath. Six character mark. It's got its carved base. Really nice bit. Lovely sort of rutile wash glaze or something like that, I think it's called. Anyway, that'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. I don't care if you did or if you didn't. See you.